as a business owner for about the last five years, it was a really slow process for me to learn the difference between leadership and management. So just as Robert Kiyosaki lays out in his book, The E-Myth, the different quadrants of business owners, the same is true for leaders and managers. So although we kind of think of them as the same thing, they're really completely different and fulfill very different functions in a business. So if you're a business owner and you get a small team, it's likely you're kind of straddling both. However, if you want to achieve decent business growth, I highly recommend you focus on leadership and devolve your responsibility to your seniors to manage the rest of the team. And although you may say things like, you know, no one can do it 100% as good as me, that may be true, but 20 people can do it to 80% as good as you, and that's gonna help you really grow your business. So let's get into some definitions. Leadership is the art of getting someone to do something because they want to do it. That was Dwight D. Eisenhower. And someone else said, what gets measured gets managed. That was Peter F. Drucker. So you can see one is leadership and one is very much management. So when it comes to leadership roles, there's three things you got to remember. Inspire, motivate, and encourage. Now, that sounds really woo-woo and really fluffy, but let me actually break it down. So firstly, inspiring people. So your job is to make the work your company does meaningful. So we all come to work for a reason, and if that reason is just to make money, well, that's a really kind of sad, weak-ass reason to be alive. Um, that's why it's really important that everyone knows the vision for the business and why they're actually coming to work in the first place. Next one is motivating people. So every day is not going to be all sunshine and rainbows, but the energy you put out as a leader is going to radiate out towards the team. As they say in Scotland, shit rolls down the hill. This means that you set the tone across the business. If you've got a shitty attitude, I guarantee the rest of your team will too. The next one is encouraging. So if something goes wrong or someone's unable to do something, the first reaction you have is usually, oh fine, I'll just fix it myself. But that is the opposite of what a leader actually does. It disempowers and disenfranchises your team and effectively kneecaps them and stops them learning and progressing so they can do it themselves. Your job is to train and encourage them to try new things and move forward in their careers and you should never attempt to do their work for them. Okay, now let's talk about management. So a manager's role is to make sure that you manage to subscribe to our weekly newsletter, link in the description. No, I'm only kidding. Um, so a manager's job is to plan, organize, and coordinate. Now you can see that's fundamentally different from being a leader. So let's break it down into a little bit more detail. Firstly, planning. The manager's role is to plan work effectively and put in checks and balances to make sure everything's been done to high quality. For example, setting OKRs, which stands for Objectives and Key Result within the team, is really important so everyone knows what they're aiming for and they've got a tangible way of measuring their performance. Next is organisation. To get work done, a manager needs to organise resources to help the team achieve their goals. This can be from really simple things like buying the right software, organising training and things like that, to something that's much more complex and looks at the entire organisation. And lastly, coordinate. So if you're working in a client service business or retail or anything where you need to coordinate, you know, work between teams, suppliers, or any partners to get a job done, this is really crucial. Particularly in a B2B services company, coordinating and reporting up and down the business to all the stakeholders is a key part of management. That's everything for this week's leadership video. We hope you found it useful. How do you differentiate between being a leader and a manager? I'd love to hear more about it down below. And until next time, we will see you later.